eaten from digestion can be used as fuel so they don't ever get deposited in your fat cells. Digestion also gives you a 15% boost to your calorie burn. So if you would burn 100 calories on your walk, you'll burn 115 after a meal. Remember, vigorous exercise after a meal feels awful, just awful, because working muscles compete with your gut for blood flow, and the muscles always win. That leaves you with intestinal discomfort, perhaps cramping, and it makes the exercise feel so hard. So if you're gonna exercise hard, Try and wait at least three hours after a meal. Now, let's do vigorous, low-impact aerobics. Jen and Eric and I are ready to warm you up. You Here we go. We got heat. We need that music just a little louder. Thank you, sir. Okay. Make that... A heel, a toe, a heel, a toe, and give it a little turn, and then come down to it. That's it. Now, if you're already eating a pre-exercise meal and it's not bothering you, hey, don't worry. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> That's what I always say. <laughs> but if, if eating before exercise is causing you nausea or discomfort, just plan your day so the exercise comes two or three uh, hours after your meal. I can't eat a, feel, a full meal and exercise. No. I can eat a little bit, you know, half a bagel. I find it really slows me down. I oh, I out. find it uncomfortable. Yeah. Watch this change. And the toe stays out. There you are. Rock that cradle. Here's four, three, Two, watch that big calf muscle now. In dynamic stretch, heel down. Good morning. Up. Yes, wake up call. Oh yeah. Four of those. Three, moving the stretch right here, hip flexors. Come forward and down. Forward, right in there you feel a little stretch. Four more, here's four. And three, and two, Last one, and then we're going to stretch these hamstrings just in passive mode. Whoa, Whoa. wake up. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay, give me heels. I always find those hamstrings are too short. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are tight. Uh, and, and what's interesting is even in active, fit people, particularly running makes yeah, them tight. Yeah, especially running, yeah. So you just have to stretch regularly and they'll maintain their normal flexibility. Now we want toe, heel, toe, heel. I knew this was coming. <laughs> you got two sides. So turn it over here and bring it in. That's it. We'll get Jen in here in a minute. Did you catch that? We'll get Jen in. Uh, That's my dad always I get it. Are you uh, Jen yet? Uh, no, I'm not awake yet. I need Here, to go Here's three, two, and the change. Leave it back there. All right. Four, three, two. Here comes that calf muscle up and down. In action, in movement, dynamic stretch. And that's really good for the warm-up. But in the cool down, after we, we've really worked, we'll stretch it passively. Two more. Moving to the hip flexors, on stretch. Up, down, right in there. Up, down. Here's four more. That's it. Two more. Last one and down, and put these hamstrings on passive. Ah, okay. Feel good though? Yeah, yeah. What's our good. strategy? Work as hard as comfortable is always a smart plan. Let's listen for an aerobic speed. See if you like that. Got it? Heels. We got it. We're okay. with you. We're with you. Yeah? Yep, we're here. Let's do two on one side, two on the other. 
poor in the center. I gotta, I gotta keep it simple in the beginning. There's not enough oxygen. And we appreciate that. <laughs> Four, three, two here, two here, in the center. Hey, did you notice what happened in the mountains last night? Yes. Man, we got there, you no. guys. <laughs> It's great. Means we're after the show. We're going skiing. <laughs> well, it won't be long. After this show, I'm going for a massage ah. in the Solar Spa. <laughs> Very nice. A beat skiing. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be skiing any day. Okay. Next time, these middle heels or knees. Here they are. Yep. Maybe a little oxygen is getting higher. All right. Those larger <laughs> muscle groups Four, are waking three, up. They come up. Two, and two over here, two over here, four, three. Next time you do those knees, I want to show you a change. Oh, okay. Whoa. All right. We're with you. Two We're knees. You. March two. Heel two. Heel two, march. That's it. Say, I wanted to uh, share with you some information from a Calgary researcher. I know Jennifer knows and respects as I do. Bill Mackey, uh -oh. do you know uh -huh. him? University of Calgary Human Performance Lab. And he is a trainer for many national Canadian teams. And then one more. And he says, if you want to burn more fat, just hold this march. You gotta have carbohydrate available in your system. And he does it just with orange juice. If you sip a cup of six to ten percent glucose solution in every 15 minutes of aerobic exercise, you increase your, your fat burning. Is this Ooh. good news? Ooh, right <laughs> yeah. On. What's that look like? Looks like a V to me. <laughs> v step. Then we'll call it a V step. Wide, tight. Okay, it comes right out of a march. Hands. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. Now, if you don't like those hands, do your own. That's all right. We're going to take two V steps and four alternating lunges. Here's one, two, now lunge. Four, three, and V. Two V's. Well, I like that. Yes. Start Where warming up, my friend. Here we go. Two V. I told you that you'd like this cool air temperature once we got started. <laughs> you gotta get going, that's all. <laughs> that's all we could do to get Eric to take off his ski suit. <laughs> I had to think about it a second or three. Shall we add on next time? Sure. Oh, let's. Okay, two V's. Those lunges. Four great vines. Four, three. Now you start on the V step with the very same leg. Two Vs. Four lunges. Great vine. Three. And after the third one, march two to change your lead. Here it is. March two. Other leg. Oh, that was so smooth. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> you teased. <laughs> you did. You just. March and V. Two Vs. Four lunges. Four, three. What's next? Grapevine. Grapevine. How many? Oh, last one. one more. March. One, two, V. I have this feeling something's v. coming up here. You know, I had that Four, same feeling. Three, There's more to this, isn't two, there? Grapevine. And again, one more. Here's your march. One, two. Yep. Lunge. Grapevine three. Now, I'm just going to make a tiny, tiny little change. I'm going to go forward and back. I knew it was coming. <laughs> yes. And again, grapevine. Two more. Instead of a march, a little samba step. It's just forward and back, nothing fancy. Four, three, two, grapevine, three. 
two. A little of everyone. Oh, One here's a samba. Style. Yo, hey. V. Personal style. Personal style's important. Four, three. Grapevine, three. Here's two. You do your samba, I pivot twice. V step, V step, lunge. Four, three. Grapevine, three. All right. Okay. Here they come. Pivot okay, twice. Okay. And turn, two. and turn. V, V, lunge. Four, three. Dare we try this again? Grapevine, grapevine. Here it comes, turn, pivot, pivot, two V steps, lunge, grapevine, here's three, we made it this far, okay, here's okay. your pivot, around and around, here's V, V, lunge, three, two, grapevine, last time through, once more, Pivot, give me that V, and hold those lunges. All right. Now, <laughs> how about you work on this. We'll do four alternating for one leg, four alternating for the other leg. Okay, we start. Four, three, two, one leg, four, three. And here's your alternate, four, three, two, one leg, four, three, alternate. Can you hang in there? Work hard, you guys. Stay back. <laughs> alternate. The common question I hear is, how do I get rid of the fat on my thighs or belly or hips? No matter where you store your excess fat, to lose it, you must expend more calories than you take in. So reduce your caloric intake by eating less fat and simple sugar. To increase your caloric output, do regular aerobic exercise like walking or step aerobics and weight train to build more muscle. The more muscle you have, the more calories you burn all day long, even at rest. Jean-Pierre Dupre is a blood fat specialist at Laval University. He says fat just under the skin is only a beauty concern. It's excess fat deep in the abdomen, under the muscle, between the internal organs that's a threat to life. Measure the circumference of the smallest part of your waist and the widest part of your buttocks. Divide your waist by your hip measurement. If the ratio is 0.8 or above for women, 9.5 or above for men, you need to reduce your fat. If a high heart rate during exercise is good for you, why is a high heart rate at rest bad? Well, regular high heart rate exercise, aerobic exercise, strengthens the heart and makes the body more efficient at delivering oxygen through the blood to the rest of the body. Indeed, one of the long-term effects of regular aerobic exercise is a lower resting heart rate, and that benefit far outweighs any risk of a temporary increase in heart rate during exercise. Metabolism is the body's process of breaking down and converting food to usable energy to power life functions like respiration. Resting metabolism is the minimum energy required to sustain life at rest. The higher your resting metabolism, the easier it is to stay lean. So how do you increase your resting metabolism? Pump iron to make muscle. The more muscle you have, the higher your resting metabolism rate. Leg. Four, three catches on these alternating lunges. Four, three, the other leg for four. Now I'm gonna make a change. I know you're tired of this. You do that one leg. I do two squats, alternating four, three, and the leg that you would have lunged on, squat twice. I love those it. squats. Yes. Well, Goodness knows, I'm the one at the disadvantage here. Long levers. <laughs> Yay, yeah, shorty! With, with two mesomorphs. Strong mesomorphs at that. Let me tell you more about the research of Bill Mackey. You see, carbohydrate must be present to burn fat. 
fat burns in a carbohydrate flame. Think of that. And carbohydrate is stored as glycogen in your muscle and liver. Bad news, there's not much of it. And once you've burned it, you start to break down your muscle tissue. Not good. And uh, so if there's some carbohydrate floating around in the form of dilute orange juice, you can burn fat and spare your muscle. And that's what we want to do. Last couple of times. Yeah, we win working so hard on that muscle. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Give me two more, I mean, four more lunges, and then just march. Put you out of your misery. I just <laughs> want to do one more squat, and I really like them, you know. Now, instead of marching front to back, which we often do, we're going to march side to side, sort of like a, a crab. <laughs> Morgan. We're in. We we're like We're going to march over there and tap four to that side, march back and tap four to this side. Here we go. Four. Three, outside leg. Four, three, other leg leads. Outside leg. So you know what I do? This six to 10% glucose solution just happens to be dilute orange juice. Perfect. If you mix two parts juice to one part water, you've pretty much got six to 10%. I don't even do that anymore. I just open the freezer, take out a little glob of frozen orange juice concentrate, throw it in my water bottle, fill it up, taste it. If it tastes dilute, I call it. That's it. That's Good 10 for me. That's 10 percent to me. <laughs> None of this measuring <laughs> stuff. That's the rule of thumb. Okay. Watch the march. You do your march. I squat, 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 squat. Outside. Yes, I'm happy now. <laughs> traveling squats. They've got to be little, like a traveling iron. Going to be small. Brace your knees. Yep. Again. Outside, adding on at the other side. Four squats. Four outside. Step back. Alternate four times. And now give me four knees. Yep. Ooh, and ooh. travel squats. Four, three, outside leg. Step back four times. And four big knees. Practice that. We're going to cut it in half when we get back. Outside leg. The nurse's health study found that in the first two years after quitting smoking, women gain an average of 5.3 pounds more than those women who continue to smoke. Of course, the overall benefits of quitting cigarettes far outweigh any risk and weight gain. But if fear of additional poundage enslaves you to tobacco, take heart in a Canadian study which shows that most women lose all or most of those extra pounds. Quit smoking and start exercising. A Brigham and Women's Hospital study shows even modest weight gain in the middle years can significantly increase the risk of coronary heart disease in women. Results found those who gained 11 to 17 pounds after age 18 had 25 percent greater risk of heart attack than those gaining 10 pounds or less. Those gaining 18 to 24 pounds increased their risk 65 percent and the risk tripled for those who gained more than 40 pounds. A University of Southern California study found that highly active women who averaged 3.8 hours of exercise weekly since puberty were 60% less likely than inactive women to get breast cancer. Those who logged one to three hours of physical activity per week since puberty were 30% less likely to develop breast cancer compared to sedentary women. Though this is just one study, it suggests that regular exercise may have a tremendous payoff. 
Tufts University mounted a study of postmenopausal women aged 50 to 70. Researchers found that the women who weight trained 45 minutes twice a week for a year improved bone density in their legs and spine by 1%. Women not weight training lost 2.5% bone density. The weight trainers reduced body fat and increased muscle mass by 3 to 4 pounds. Remember, the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn even as you sleep. Are you with us? Outside and step back four. Are you ready to cut this down? Oh. Four knees. Concentrate, concentrate. Okay, here we go. Two squats. One, outside two, step back two. These are the ones you have to two say knees. it to yourself. Whoa. And travel one, two, outside for two. Does she seem anxious? I think <laughs> she is. <laughs> Squat two, outside two, back two, last time, squat two, outside two, back two, hold these big knees, okay. three, two, just march, okay, smarty pants, All right. you do something, okay, here we go, we're just going to do a one, two, three, tap, and march for four, okay. that march for four will be a hold, okay, are you ready, we're, we're ready. ready, let's do it, one, two, three, tap, and hold. Do it again. One, two, three, tap. Now let's move forward. One, two, three, tap, and hold. And we're moving back. One, two, three, tap. Oh, I'm gonna we got add it. We on. Got it. One, two, three, do what you know. Moving back, tap, and hold. All right, now you're just gonna add a little tap out in. Out in, move back. Yeah. Tap, out in, move forward. Time to add on already. Knees up for four. Four, three, two, let's move back. A one, one two, two, three, three tap. tap. And out in knees up. All right, add on hamstring curls, you guys. Eight of them. Eight, uh -oh. seven, six, how you guys doing? We're doing, yeah. Four, we're that's a lot of three. curls. I'll move forward. One, two, three, three tap. tap. Out in, out, out in, in knees. knees up. Yeah, now hamstring curls, here they are, eight, Seven, six, should we try one more time? Please Four, do. Three, let's move back, here we go. One, two, three, tap, out in, knees up. Four, something with those curls. All right, four single curls, and now do double curls. Here we two go, legs. double curls, yep. Now move forward, one more set. I one, knew you two, were gonna three, tap, something. out in, knees up. Anytime someone does a single curls, curls. <laughs> you know they're gonna change. Double curls. <laughs> Let's move back, let's move back. I One, like two, it. three, tap, out, in, out, knees up, four, three, here's your single curls for four. And then you get double curls. One more. Forward. One, two, three, tap, out, in, in out, out, knees. knees. And curl. Curls. And last then time. double curl. So this is our last time, we're moving back. One, two, three, tap, out, in, out, in, knees. Single curls, four, three, double, 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 double and we're done. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Just look at me and answer me this. How hard are you working? You can modify this. We got a lot of squats and knees, and the higher your knees, the harder it is. I hope you're working somewhat hard to hard. Okay, we gotta cool you down a little bit. You're gonna do this for cool down. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stomp. One, two, three, four. Try it with me now. One, two, three, five, six, seven, stomp. One, two, three, five, six, seven, stomp. Don't get to stomp until count eight. Wow. One, two, three, five, <laughs> six, stomp. seven, eight. Keep this it going. Is down. Oh, stop. Five, six, seven. Most heart attacks are due to a buildup of fatty deposits or plaque inside coronary arteries. And it's at these plaque deposits where blood clots are likely to stick and completely cut off the blood supply. The best way to avoid that scenario is eat low fat food and exercise. For every 1% you lower your total blood cholesterol through better food choices, exercise, or cholesterol lowering drugs, your risk of heart attack declines 
happens two to three percent. Adult humans can have up to 600 billion fat cells, and they're very elastic. If you burn up all the calories you eat in a day, your fat cells swell and shrink as fat is stored and then released for burning. If you eat more than you use, your cells enlarge to accommodate the excess. If your body fat content rises to about 30 kilograms, your body will manufacture new fat cells to absorb the extra. The trick to weight loss is burning up more calories than you eat. Come on down here and stretch your hamstring. It doesn't really matter where this non-stretching leg is, wherever it's comfortable, except not here, owie on the knee. And if you can reach your foot, pull on it just gently. So to recap, if you sip one cup of six to 10% solution glucose for every 15 minutes of aerobic exercise during and even after, during the, uh, even an hour afterwards, mm -hmm. it is thought that you enhance fat burning. Now that's the tip of the day. You <laughs> won't find a better tip than that today. That's what we want. Try the other leg. Um, trivia question. Uh oh, oh trivia. Th Jennifer, uh, this, I, I, I think <laughs> no you pressure. ought to get this. Focus. Because uh, I've watched you eat. <laughs> what, what is the m greatest underreported injury of our times? <sighs> it is to do with injuries involved in cutting bagels. <laughs> I could believe that. Yeah, because how true. many people hold it in hold their the bagel hand? And, cut it. Yeah. and truly, so many people are showing up in the emergency rooms with these sliced palms. And the doc too. says, how'd you do that? Well, I was cutting a bagel. <laughs> the good news is they were eating bagels. That's the right. And not donuts. They were cutting it That's in. Yes. right. That's wow. absolutely right. There's always a silver lining. It's true. Dr. Mark Smith of George Washington University says, you guys, be careful. Some of those bagels, you know, are getting pretty big. 500 calories, six to seven <gasps> ounces, cut them in half so you Yikes. only eat half that. But be careful. See ya. Exercise wear by Gilda Marks. The exercise wear with the breathables lining. It figures is produced in association with the Life Network in the splendid grandeur of the Rocky Mountains at the Bamp Springs Hotel. If you would like to buy an exercise video, a copy of this show, or one of our cookbooks, call 1-800-MORE-FIT. Viewers requiring an answer from it figures should enclose $3 and a self-addressed stamped envelope. pollution can be as harmful to the breathing capacity of your lungs as smoking. Over a five-year period, UCLA researchers measured how much airways narrowed in more than 2,100 residents of three Southern California cities. Male non-smokers in the most polluted city, Long Beach, had as much lung damage as smokers in the least polluted city of Lancaster. Of course, the most seriously affected were smokers in polluted Long Beach. Female smokers were equally affected in both cities, leading the pulmonologist for this study to think that maybe women are more vulnerable because their lungs are smaller. So cleaning the air should be as high priority as getting people to stop smoking. But if you must live in pollution, Restrict your strenuous outdoor activity to early morning or evening. Close those windows when driving in heavy traffic or through a tunnel. And take public transport or carpool whenever possible. Be part of the solution, not the problem. It's muscle today. Pick up that iron.
Just before you weight train, we want to warm you up with a little systemic blood flow. We'll use step touch. Looks like this. That's it, just step, touch, and if you string two step touches back to back, it makes a grapevine. And it's in four, three, two, and grapevine. Step together, step, touch, step together, step, touch. Instead of that little touch, give me a kick. It's step together, step, kick, step together, step, kick. That's it. And if it feels comfortable, take it across your body. Yep, let your hands do just what feels natural. Now, next thing I want to add is two marches on the spot after the kick. This side, here it comes, two, one. Step together, step, kick, march, march. Step together, step, kick, march, march. Got it? I think so. We're with you. All right. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Catherine. <laughs> That's Murray, as in Arthur Murray. That's right. And step together, step, kick, march, march. I'm going to change the march in a minute. Step together, step, kick, march, march, kick, kick. Uh -huh. And here's march, march, kick, kick. Do you can get plenty on this. Across, cool march, kick. march, kick, kick. Across, march, march, kick, kick. Across, march, march, kick. I need to add something. March, march, I need to add step touches. Right here, right here, four, three. Here we go. Step together, kick across. March, march, kick, step touches, four, three. Here we go. Step together, step across. March, march, kick, kick, step, touch. Do we have now, fun with that? Jeanette. Do we have fun with that? Has this little twirl uh -oh. that she would like to show us and we maybe can do it or maybe we can't we don't know uh -huh. it's in the kick across we're it's gonna try step together yeah. step kick turn turn kick kick <laughs> by the skin of my chinny chin chin we have it and turn Ooh, step down. step kick kick step together here we go try again you just turn on that first kick and here's safety, here's recovery. And turn, march, march, kick, kick, step together. You got one more chance. Just one more. Step together, step, and turn, kick, kick. I'd much step rather together. do that than I feel <laughs> safe when we come here. <laughs> okay, give me, give me knees. I'm counting you to weight building, muscle building. We've got Four, up, three, up, two, up, one, up, and let's go down. What do you want to do first? Squats? Oh, you do yeah. squats. I'll do squats. You okay. do stride. I'll do stride. If you have no weights at all, you can do this. I'm going to work my quadriceps with inverted V. I'm going to take one leg and make it lift me concentrically, and then I come down for my eccentric phase. Deb is going to step back for her concentric phase, and you're going to squat down. Squat. Show us. Okay, so whatever you choose. All right, the concentric phase, and ready, set, go. And it's up and up for me, down and down. Okay, we're going the same direction. Now, if you don't like having your head down, if that doesn't feel comfortable for you, you should pick either the strides, backward strides like Debbie's doing, or the squats. Now Jeanette is gonna have to do twice as many. <laughs> yeah, I just because after going all, forever. she's on both legs. <laughs> Torture time, yeah. Jeanette. Okay. Yeah, I can take it. One more, Debbie. Sure. I'll just and keep on going. Down. Switch sides. I Are got you it. ready? I am. Okay. And uh, uh, here we go. Concentric. Eccentric, concentric. So these are the big quadricep muscles, huge, powerful muscles in the front of your thighs. On none of this should you be locking your knee when you bring your leg into full extension. It almost comes straight, but not locked. Woo, is that hard work? I'm feeling mine now. Can I stop anytime? <laughs> well, one more. I told you it was torture time. Here you go. And Ooh. done. Woo. 
All right. Good work. Cool. You want to stretch them? Let's just stretch them right here now. Sure. If you will get yourself out in line with them. Oh man, is that ever tight. Right after you work those muscles, they're real, they're real tight when they've worked maximally and you can really feel your stretch. Back here, you probably won't get very much, but if you'll bring your hip up, you can really feel that stretch. Now once we work the front, we feel duty bound to work the back. These are quads, these are hamstrings. Let's stretch the other side, and then we'll do standing hamstrings. So if you've not got a step to work with, that's all right. You just need to have something to hold on to next. Back of the sofa, the door frame, side of the piano, a lamp stand, something just to give you a little stability. But you need something to overload those hamstrings. So have you got ankle weights? Have you got 10 cans you can tie on your ankles? Well, I think I have a jungle weight hiding here. Yep. Put BBs in a nylon stocking and... You know, you should this. never burn <laughs> pressure treated wood or a painted wood in a fireplace or a wood stove. Those fumes can really make you ill. And I, I, I can't see why you wouldn't smell it. Um, but I guess some people don't. Now, let me take this jacket off. I want to see that abdominal brace. This ain't it, babe. You want a neutral pelvis or even a tilted pelvis. You certainly don't want this. You, this is much safer. Both sides are vertical and you're just gonna bend your leg up. So here we go. Ready, lift, up and up. You know, another good thing too when you have down. a fire going, we have a fireplace and we use it all the time. But whenever we have it going, we always have the window cracked yep. open a tad. Now, see, that's a real problem here in Canada where it's real cold. Our homes are very airtight. And so you can get uh, major carbon monoxide going, uh, it's particularly if you've got a fireplace that's smoking a bit. So we have to open the window. There are parts of the world where houses are not that airtight and it's just that's not a right. problem. Okay, one more, just in case you didn't catch us on the first rep. And change legs. Ooh. Okay, let's see your abdominal brace. And here we go. Lift up and up and down. It is suggested that you, uh, you um, don't let fire smolder because that's the temperature that produces the greatest pollution and that you check your stoves for cracked fire bricks and other kinds of um, leaks. People don't think about the fireplace being dangerous, but you know, people have died from carbon monoxide poisoning just from, from fireplaces. Last one, up and up Ooh, you know, that, and down. That's a really good and comment down. about checking the bricks because you know, our fireplace is covered in so much ash and soot. <laughs> You'd never know. <laughs> We'd never know it. Debbie, that's terrible. Well, we Let's shovel do. it out once in a while, but Let's that's usually one glutes. of my kids' jobs. <laughs> okay, everybody, pick your pick your position on, on glutes. I kind of like to see your, your head down, but the main effort here is to press your, your leg back. This is really leg extension, and you might have your legs straight or bent. If your weight is lighter, you might want to straighten your leg. I'll show you what it looks like. And if your weight is heavier, you might want to bend your leg. Now, you got to work on both legs, 10 reps at least. See you back. Up and up and down. The Quebec Family Study at Laval University has found that genetics do play a role in your body fat, but not a very strong influence. Only 25% of individual difference in body fat throughout the population is genetic. That means you can only blame your parents for a quarter of your fat. Genes strongly determine where fat is stored, but genes are not very influential in the amount of fat stored. Your physical activity, or lack of it, and your food choices determine your fatness. 
Have you heard about the new approach to abdominal training? In the past, we did exercises which challenged the abdominal muscles as prime movers. They make the movement. But the abs actually spend more of their time acting as trunk stabilizers. So now we're also doing work that challenges them to be better stabilizers. This may be the answer to that stubborn little pot belly that annoys even some fairly lean people. Okay, before you take those weights off, let's use them to overload and make reverse curls real hard. Now, it's not this, none of this momentum from the legs business. It's belly work, up and up and down and down. And they're hard enough as a beginner to do them without weight. So if you're just starting, don't try it with weights. You see, and this is not a very spectacular movement to watch. You're just barely lifting your tailbone off the floor. Just crumple your legs up here so you, that you can't use them to help you cheat. Oh no, that's it. Couple more. One more, will ya? Sure. Up and up and down and down. Good work. Okay, oh. now take those weights off. You know. Reverse curls re recruit the abdominal fibers from the bottom up, and that's, that's more effective. Now we're gonna go back to curls now. We're gonna do forward curls. This is the concentric phase, but this eccentric phase is more effective in building streaks. So we go one, two, three, four. Here we go. Are you with us? Count this number one. It's up and down and down and down. Good. Smoke from fireplaces and wood stoves contains carbon monoxide. We all know that. I didn't realize that it could contain nitrogen dioxide, which can certainly bring on respiratory ills. Oh, and you do another thing you're not supposed to burn? And we've done this in my family. Comics. The funny Comic papers. papers. Oh, is it colored ink? ink? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I knew that. So recycle, recycle, recycle. And one more. Up and down and down and down. Okay, so far we've used the ab muscles as prime movers. They're doing the movement. Now we're going to recruit these ab muscles as stabilizers, which is in fact their primary function. So what I want you to do is abdominal brace. Show me this. Just pull your belly down. And it doesn't happen with this effort. It all happens right here. This is a neutral spine. And now I just use my belly muscles and pull my navel toward my spine. And using that, you, you do the basis for this next exercise. It's a four count brace. You go brace, down, return, relax. Now you don't relax and come back to neutral pelvis till you get that leg up there. This means 90 degrees. Use the flexed wrist as your measuring stick. If this is too hard, you can put that one leg down. Your choice for positions. Ready, go. Brace, lower, back, release. Brace, lower, back, release. Brace, lower, back, release. Brace, lower, back. Think about your pelvis. Don't worry so much about your legs. It's what's going on in your tummy that really matters. Brace, lower, return, release. Brace, lower, couple more, and breathe normally. Don't hold your breath, just keep talking. Brace, lower. As one friend said to me, I'll just keep cursing. I said, okay, whatever. Other side, you're in a neutral spine. Show me your abdominal, abdominal brace. Okay, here we go. Brace, lower, come back, now relax. Brace, lower, back, relax. Again, brace, lower. Your mental energy should be working on your belly. Just don't worry about your leg, how low it goes or doesn't go. Think there. We need mind over matter. Whew. Brace, lower, return, relax. Brace, lower. Are you good for one more? One more. Brace, lower, and whoo, relax. 
Hammer. Is this the year is the second side harder? Yes, yes. <laughs> because you, because me? you're already fatigued. Yeah, that's I think right. that's absolutely true. Now, the internal, external obliques rotate your body, uh, your upper body on your pelvis. And these muscles are all going to be working to keep your pelvis stable while your obliques do this. You want to lift and twist as best you can at the same time. So what you're doing is trying to lift one shoulder blade at a time off the mat. And you tend to feel the work in the side of your trunk. It alternates sides. I can feel it there. OK. Over and back. Over. How you doing? Yep. It's sure worthwhile, guys. It'll help you hold your belly flat when you sit or stand. Last one. Oh. Want to just recoup for a minute? Oh, sure. Okay. Sure. Done. <laughs> Enough rest. Let's do chest presses. Have you got some That's weight? A good one. Something that sure. you can press up? I have an idea. I'm going to put my uh, mat on the bench. Okay. All right. I'm going to yeah, stay right here. I'll too. get you started. Up and up and down and down. Up and up. Now, even in this position, we should have an abdominal brace. Whenever you're working weights on your back, your low back should be pressed into the mat or the floor or the carpet, whatever. It's safer. Better technique. How many more? Oh, about, how about 10? Just I'm kidding. How oh, about surely about three? <laughs> how about four Last more two. And here's the last one, and up and down. I want to get you started on triceps. Try this. Up and up, and down and down. Can you do that for a good 10 or more C back? Up. Cholesterol and saturated fat are not the same thing. Cholesterol is found only in animals. Plants can't make cholesterol because they don't have a liver. Eating high cholesterol foods is not a problem for most people. Your liver will just cut back on its production of cholesterol to compensate. But eating saturated fat is a problem. It stimulates your body to overproduce cholesterol. So a no cholesterol label on a food made with saturated palm oil is very misleading. You don't have to work up a sweat to get fit, but you do need to work up your heart rate. Aerobic exercise is any sustained physical activity that produces heavy breathing and high heart rate. And now I know what you're thinking, and the answer is yes. If you can keep it going for 15 to 20 minutes, it's got to qualify as aerobic. Regular aerobic exercise conditions your heart and keeps your body fat under control. It moderates your reaction to stress and increases your stamina. Such a deal. Want to stretch those triceps? Yes. Sure. You do it that way? Yeah. I'll do this way. Either. Either. Just put a little gentle pressure up here. You know the uh, EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, says, man, if you've got a wood stove that's pre-1988, you need to think about re uh, replacing it because the new ones require a lot less wood and give off a lot less soot and half burn materials. Those are the materials that lodge in your lungs. Mm. How old is your... Now you're talking about a stove or a fireplace. Yeah, I'm talking about a stove. stove. Well, we have a fireplace. Of course, it's but fireplaces... But put in in 82. Fireplaces can be real mm. old and work well if they're well That's built. Right, if they're well built. They draw yeah. well. My yes. dad always used to talk about, it's does this fireplace well. draw well? Okay, dead triceps, do biceps. The main thing that I want you to do is brace your arm. Now, we're going to do, this is full range of motion. Watch what we're going to do. We're going to do full range once. So we're going to go up and up, and now we're going to go half range. Up, down, up, down. Full range. And that now makes half range. range a little bit up, difficult. Down. Doesn't it? Up, yeah. down. So up, up, up to about 90 degrees then. Yeah. In, your, in yeah, the elbow yeah. flexion yeah. there. Okay. Up, down. Up, down. Up, and up. Somebody count on the man. I've got a heavy weight here. Oh, yeah. I think about. Up, <laughs> down. Two more sets. Up. Whoa. 
<laughs> this is it on the up, short ones. We're done. Down. Up, last down. one. That's it. Yes. Okay. Ooh, She's boy. the police woman. Uh, Deb is actually uh, doing personal training now, and this this was this yeah. was her idea. Uh, so bite her. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, go. Well, you found that uh, that you that people work real well with those, don't you? Let's do full well, range for a minute. But you know, the thing is, is that people think that in order to uh, increase the intensity in their in any kind of a workout, mainly strength training. Okay, now we're going to do it. That they always have to. Um, increase the weight load half range and you don't necessarily up, have to do down. that by simply changing range. the range of motion sure like so. sure uh, rather than necessarily getting heavier can you keep these That's going right. full range and then little short ones one pound of body fat burns only two measly calories a day to sustain itself but a pound of muscle burns 30 to 50 calories a day to stay alive. The more muscle you have, the higher your metabolism and the more calories you burn even as you sleep. Unfortunately, metabolism slows with age due to loss of muscle to the tune of about a half a pound of muscle a year after age 30. If you weight train though, you can preserve muscle and keep your metabolism high to stay lean. I bet hardly a week goes by without hearing someone say that exercise got them through a nasty divorce or the stress of job loss or the depressing loss of a loved one. I hear it all the time. And it's not pie in the sky, it's real. Exercise reduces tension by desensitizing your body to stress. Regular workouts train the body to react less intensely to stress, leaving you better able to cope with anxiety provoking events. It's much better than balance. Up, to, out, to, in, to, you know what those are? Murder. Deltoids. <laughs> and that too. Deltoids. You need a fairly light weight for that because you're holding these at horizontal. That's right. Good old for gravity. For a few moments. That's right. You. Gravity's working. So you got gravity as well as weights here. Copy machines. Not a big health hazard, um, as long as they're well maintained and in an adequately ventilated room, they do emit enough ozone to uh, cause respiratory irritation, but that ozone dissipates real quickly, quickly in oxygen, so as long as they're not in a tightly sealed room, and most big copiers now are in, uh, you know, a, a, a copy room in most big offices. It may be the little units, the old units in homes that you want to watch out for. Is this the last set? I sure hope so. It's <laughs> can. very quick. This is it. Whoa, done. You can sure feel those. Now, these muscles, the posture muscles, rhomboids, we have two positions for you. In either position, you draw your shoulder blades together. Keep your neck in neutral, so this is not what you want. If you want to look at the TV, turn your head side and use your shoulder blades. That's it. Lift and lift and down. You know, toner in um, copy machines could be a problem in the old machines, but most of the new units have that toner unit as a com compartmentalized uh, special container. It's all containerized and it doesn't leak out. And you know when copy machines first came out and everybody was Xeroxing their face and their That's <laughs> rear end? I think we got tan in there. Okay. Oh. Well, it's, it's not really a problem because the glass blocks the UV radiation. Do you like the stretch oh. for your rhomboids? Yes. Hey guys, muscle matters. Oh. It sure does. Exercise wear by Gilda Marks. The exercise wear with the breathables lining. It figures is produced in association with the Life Network in the splendid grandeur of the Rocky Mountains at the Bamp Springs Hotel.
If you would like to buy an exercise video, a copy of this show, or one of our cookbooks, call 1-800-MORE-FIT. Viewers requiring an answer from It Figures should enclose $3 and a self-addressed stamped envelope. When the nurse's health study examined the weight gain that accompanies smoking cessation, it found that women who quit gain an average of 5.3 pounds more than those women who continue to smoke. Of course, the overall benefits of quitting cigarettes far outweigh any risks and weight gain. But if fear of additional poundage enslaves you to tobacco, take heart in a Canadian study which confirms the nurses' health study findings and goes further to show that most women and fewer men lose all or most of those extra pounds. Canadian data shows that two years after cessation, women who stopped smoking were less likely to be obese than smokers. If that's not enough to make you quit, consider another research finding. Smokers are likely to appear at least five years older than their stated age because smoking causes facial wrinkling. Yes, I mean, here we are using all these moisturizers and if you smoke, for what? Let's step today. Let's warm you up. I got the beat. I got the spirit. <laughs> we'll do four marches, four curls. Here's four, three, two, one. Now curl, that's it. You know, smoking contributes to a much broader array of diseases in women than in men. And one of them is osteoporosis, which scares me because it's in my family, curl. Uh, and, you know, of course, women are at increased risk to osteoporosis as they age, and smoking increases that risk. Now, we're going to take this all on the step next time. We'll take it up there and we'll hold it up there. Here we go. Martin, stay here. Do your curls right here. Four, three, two. Next time we do those curls, they have a pattern. Two singles on a double. Single, single, double. March four, three. Here's that pattern. Single, single, double. March four. I'm going to change this march next time. You do the march. Have a look, see. Preview the change. Two more. Here are the curls. Single, single. Double with me, go down, up, 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 down, up, up the curl, single, single, double, go down, up, 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 down, up, 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 single, single, double, and it's down, up, up, and down, up, up, curl, two times, and down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, up, up. Last time through, double curl and go down. Whole single curl. There you go. Now bring that down to a step touch. And watch what you're doing. Just take it off whenever you can. We'll wait. You off? We're off. Good. Put this touch up on the step. Now you got it? Yep. What a glorious day. Isn't it beautiful? Four, three. Hold this last one right there. It is wonderful. You got sunscreen on, kids? Yes. Bet. Double, right. double. Double, double, 30, 35. Who gave me 40? 15. Okay. And Laurie, you're the one who should have the real, both of you should have on 30. <laughs> okay. Gastrock's done. How about your hip flexor? Pelvic tilt and take it down. Feel that in there? This is just a wake-up call. This is not intense stretch. Let's hit the other hamstrings before we start. Yeah, they get tight, even with activity. 
With age, they get tight. And you know what else makes those real tight is running. So, gas rock, if you're a runner, you need to be stretching almost every run. I know it's hard when time is tight. Uh, here we go. Right in there. Women um, are also at greater risk to cervical cancer if they smoke. I mean, I gotta ask you, is it worth it? Whew. Ready, you march. And we put this on the step, we call it basic. Up and down, up and down. And of course, the risk of heart disease increases in women after menopause. And smoking makes that risk higher. We're gonna need to take two basics, tap on eight. One, two, three, here comes the second one, tap on eight. There you go. Let your lead leg lead your direction. Here comes, tap down, adding on. A knee repeater of three right here. Up, two, three, now tap down. You guys know this, there's lots of taps. Tapping. All these taps, tap down. Then when you get to the other end after these two basics, tap down. That's it. Okay. Let's give the teenagers a laugh. Have a look, see my change. Twist, twist, up, knee, and tap, down. That's my twist. It's a repeater. And knee, twist, twist, and knee, and tap, down. You got it? How are you doing? I don't hear anything. doing good. good. Twist, twist. Knee and tap down. You know, it was really refreshing to see when I was in Australia recently how many people didn't suntan anymore. Yeah, and yeah. if they did, they were just covered. Those totally. folks really are taking it seriously. Yeah. Wonder if their incidence of skin cancer has dropped. I don't know. Surely, surely. But it was also interesting. Uh oh, I missed that one. Oh, there we go. I've got it. To see how many young people, especially women, smoked. Really? A lot? Lots. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's backwards. I know. Sorry to hear that. Yep. Okay. One more chance at Chubby Checker. Up, knee, twist, twist, up, knee, and down, and tap. Give me curl repeater. Three curls. That's it. Down, tap. Oh, I missed that one. Okay. Let me I'll catch you back up right here, right here. Three curls. Three, up, two, up, one, up, and down and tap. You with me? I'm with you. So you at okay. home shouldn't feel so bad if you miss. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no, you don't stop. Keep going. You can miss. Yeah. You can curse. That doesn't matter. But you can't stop. And down and tap. Okay, can I do something to that? Oh, do yeah. your curls. Do your curls. I squat. So what happens? Two curls in a squat. Curl, curl, walk, walk, squat. And lead off on the leg uh -huh. of the direction in which you're going. Walk, walk, squat. Here's the basic. Another basic, here are the curls. Two curls, walk, walk, squat. We beat that one to death? I think we have. <laughs> And walk, walk, squat. You know, 56,000 American women die of lung cancer every year. And what we're really so scared of as women is breast cancer. 56,000 die of lung cancer compared with 46,000 from breast cancer. Holy Are we smoke. scared That's of the incredible. right thing? Yeah. I ask you. Okay, last one like this. Two curls and a squat. Curl, curl, walk, walk, squat. Now this next time, just give me three old regular curls. Nothing fancy, right there. Come down and tap. Two basics to get you to the other end, down and tap. And three of those ordinary old curls. That's it. You know, um, the, the lung cancer deaths for men have leveled off. And it's just tragic to report that for women, they're still rising. 
This makes my heart sad. And it's primarily because so many women started smoking after World War II. Remember how popular it was for our mothers when they were young, you know? It was a the fashion. The war was over. They were doing those wartime moms. great yeah. dances, wartime movies, ads. And now they're beginning to suffer the consequences. Okay, this is the last time I'm doing this bridge. You come down and tap. You do basics. Have a look-see. That's what's coming. Here are your three curls. Down and tap. Get up, do two lunges. Get off and tap. Here you go. Down tap. There's up and two lunges. Now, I call that the crab crawl. Because look what you're doing. You're going across the step sideways. A little propulsion here will allow you to make this next change. Have a look, stay what you're doing, do what you're doing. I just changed my direction. I'm coming back for you. Now, see if you can take this repeater to jump around. You're down the length of the step. Jump around and square up, down tap, you go. Can you perfect that? See you back. Ho! And down and tap. More fatal heart attacks occur between 6 a.m. and noon, not because of morning exercise, but because of morning. The blood platelets responsible for clotting are stickiest in the morning. Regular exercise at any time of day reduces the risk of heart attack. Thousands of North Americans die each year from inactivity, so don't be afraid to work out in the morning if that's the best time for you. The trick is to be regular with exercise. Time of day doesn't really matter. Your body loses two to three quarts of fluid daily just through perspiration, exhalation, and excretion. Now that fluid must be replaced or your major systems begin to break down. The rule of thumb is drink eight, eight ounce glasses of water daily, and that's just your minimum because as temperature and exercise increase, you need still more. If you're not drinking enough water, your urine will be quite yellow. Clear urine signals good hydration. Canada, we're still eating too much fat. A gram of fat is nine calories, compared with only four calories per gram for carbohydrate or protein. Though monounsaturated fats are more heart healthy than other fats, all fat is equally fattening, so the goal is to cut down on all fats. Excess dietary fat contributes to excess body fat, and that brings health problems in and of itself. Try to get your fat intake down to 20 to 30 percent of your total daily calories. If you're stuck on a fat loss plateau and are already doing some sort of vigorous exercise, try adding a walk after supper. Moderate exercise, like walking, doesn't compete with digestion right after a meal. It feels fine and it aids digestion and it reduces fat storage on your body. Fats entering the bloodstream from digestion can be used as fuel so they don't get deposited in your fat cells. Catch us up. Here we are on the lunges down the board. Surfers got nothing on us, baby. <laughs> we got a board. Off the edge. Now take these three curls, turn it around. Here's the last time, gang. Bad news. Hold these lunges. Uh-oh, intensity, intensity. Four lunges, and then just get down and up. We call that reverse basic. Here they come. We got lunges. Four, three, two, reverse your basic. Here come the lunges, and it's four, three, two, reverse. Another one, stay up and lunge. Here's four, three, and down, reverse. How many? <laughs> One more. Here's four, three, two, reverse. Last time, here's four, three, 
two, hold your reverse basic, hold it. Now turn it front, you there, you got it. Okay, we're gonna do, I call this reverse basic because four, one, two, three, five, the, the beat is on the floor, can you hear that? Take two, tap on eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, tap is on the top this time. Are you with me? Yes. That would be a yes. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. we're here. Now. Silence must be a yes. <laughs> I thought it was you know, golden. It's, I can tell you for sure what silence is. <laughs> Trouble on your brain. You're just cranking. <laughs> <laughs> They're concentrating. Okay, in a minute. When I tell you, Laurie. Okay. <laughs> not yet. We're going to add four alternating lunges. And you know where they're going to come? They're going to come from this tapping foot. Not this time. Next time. You're going to tap and lunge. Lunge. Four, three, two. Inside leg leads off. That's it. Here comes the tap. Lunge, four, three, two, inside leg, one basic, two, give me a tap and lunge, four, three, again, that's it, and tap, and lunge, inside leg. Did you know that 85% of all lung cancer is from smoking? <laughs> Can you imagine what would happen to our health care dollars if there simply were no cigarettes? It's hard to fathom. Once more, go. Reverse basic. Here comes that tap and lunge. And just hold reverse basic. Down and up. And down and up. I want to move that downbeat from the floor to the step. I'm cueing you to march on the floor. Here's four, three, two, march down. Four, three, on the step, march for four. Four, three, on the floor for two. On the step, two. On the floor, two. Give me singles. Whoop. Okay, we got this beat where we want it. I want from you alternating knees. In four, three, two, one, corner to corner. That's it. Can you keep that going? Okay, we're gonna come back and take that somewhere. See you back. The common question I hear is, how do I get rid of the fat on my thighs, or belly, or hips? No matter where you store your excess fat, to lose it, you must expend more calories than you take in. So reduce your caloric intake by eating less fat and simple sugar. To increase your caloric output, do regular aerobic exercise like walking or step aerobics, and weight train to build more muscle. The more muscle you have, the more calories you burn all day long, even at rest. Jean-Pierre Dupre is a blood fat specialist at Laval University. He says fat just under the skin is only a beauty concern. It's excess fat deep in the abdomen, under the muscle, between the internal organs that's a threat to life. Measure the circumference of the smallest part of your waist and the widest part of your buttocks. Divide your waist by your hip measurement. If the ratio is 0.8 or above for women, 9.5 or above for men, you need to reduce your fat. If a high heart rate during exercise is good for you, why is a high heart rate at rest bad? Well, regular high heart rate exercise, aerobic exercise, strengthens the heart and makes the body more efficient at delivering oxygen through the blood to the rest of the body. Indeed, one of the long-term effects of regular aerobic exercise is a lower resting heart rate. And that benefit far outweighs any risk of a temporary increase in heart rate during exercise. 
Metabolism is the body's process of breaking down and converting food to usable energy to power life functions like respiration. Resting metabolism is the minimum energy required to sustain life at rest. The higher your resting metabolism, the easier it is to stay lean. So, how do you increase your resting metabolism? Pump iron to make muscle. The more muscle you have, the higher your resting metabolism rate. Okay, we're gonna take four knees, and after the first three, there's this walk, walk. But you know what? After the fourth one, there's a down tap, so you can cross over four times. Okay, well, we start. Here's four, walk, walk, three, walk, walk, two, and this one has a down tap, cross over. We got four across. That's it. Two more. And here are those four knees, this corner, other corner, walk, walk, come back. And here's the down tap, cross over, four times. That looks it. You got it down pat. <laughs> now, I'm gonna mess it up for you. Oh, I knew it. Hup. No sleep for the wicked. <laughs> down tap, cross over. Now you're saying we're wicked? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here's your first knee. Here's your last knee, down tap. Cross over only twice. Cut it in half. One knee, walk, walk, knee, down tap, cross over. Are you with us? Yeah. Yep. Here's up, knee, walk, up, knee, and down and tap. You know, smokers are twice as likely as non-smokers to have a stroke. And since that is a problem that has been a particular concern to women, I just gotta ask you, it wouldn't be worth it to take that money that you spend on cigs and put it toward a smoking cessation program. Absolutely. And don't write me and tell me Charlie, you just don't know how hard it is. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> I never smoked, but my father did. And it almost killed all of us. And it did in the end kill him. And he just went cold turkey one day. But it was a little too late. I watched that man struggle with tobacco his whole life. His entire adult life. Okay. Let's hold these alternate knees. Walk, 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 walk. What does that sound like? <laughs> walk, walk. Uh -oh. Santa would say it sounds like mom. Okay. Let's make these repeaters. Three, two, one. Round robin. Laurie. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What's no, your repeater no, no. of choice? Laurie. Oh, okay. Think Next fast. Time. We're going to do side leg lifts. There they uh -oh. are. Here okay, they are. There we go. I didn't yeah, know they're now. Does that mean okay, I have to Okay, Dad, quickly. Okay, I can this one. Kick back. Three. Curl. Yes. One more set and you're done. Yep. Just march. Woo. Got a heart rate? Whoa. Ready, set, count. Keep your legs moving. And I'm giving you ticking set. Ten seconds. Ready. Oh, I'm there. Where? I'm up there. Where are you? <laughs> Listen, we did the math. Mm -hmm. Have a look at this. You don't even have to multiply. You're there. If you've got your heart rate count somewhere on that chart that's fairly near your age, you're there. You're in the ball game. I gotta tell you, there's an error, a margin of error of about 20% here anyway in any heart rate. Now we're cueing you to stay up in three lunges. It's gonna be four, three, two, stay up, lunge, alternating legs, three, two, step down and tap up three times, three, two, go up, now lunge, three, two, go down, tap up, three, can you keep it going? Be back to stretch you out. Down. 
most heart attacks are due to a buildup of fatty deposits or plaque inside coronary arteries. And it's at these plaque deposits where blood clots are likely to stick and completely cut off the blood supply. The best way to avoid that scenario is eat low fat food and exercise. For every 1% you lower your total blood cholesterol through better food choices, exercise or cholesterol lowering drugs, your risk of heart attack declines 2 to 3 percent. Adult humans can have up to 600 billion fat cells and they're very elastic. If you burn up all the calories you eat in a day, your fat cells swell and shrink as fat is stored and then released for burning. If you eat more than you use, your cells enlarge to accommodate the excess. If your body fat content rises to about 30 kilograms, your body will manufacture new fat cells to absorb the extra. The trick to weight loss is burning up more calories than you eat. If you'll straddle the width of the step and put your calf on the front, then flatten your back or think about taking your rear end away from your knee. Ooh, you can feel a hamstring stretch. Can you ever feel it? The good news for smokers is once you quit, you reduce your risk of death to that of a non-smoker in just five years. Imagine, in simply five years after quitting, the risk is the same as the rest of us. I think, that, I think that's incentive. Now, if you'll scoot that back leg way back and drop down so that your groin is closer to the floor, I think you can move the stretch toward your hip flexor muscles, just so you feel some stretch in that area. And you can take your weight in your hands here. That's okay. Now we're going to move down to these big guys that really worked for you. Just come off the end and press your heel toward the floor. That one's oh, nice, too. I can it? feel I like this. Yeah. You know that's that powerhouse muscle out of the starting <laughs> blocks? That's not a hang-in-there marathon muscle. That's, a, that's an explosive, fast-twitch fiber muscle. Okay. Try the other side. Mm, yes, yes, yes. You know, when they look at vitamin C in smokers and non-smokers, smokers have less vitamin C circulating. Even if they, let's try this other side now. Even if they are taking as much vitamin C as non-smokers, they have 43% lower levels circulating. Secondhand smokers, 24% less circulating vitamin C than non-smokers. If you smoke, make sure you take vitamin C. Ciao! Exercise wear by Gilda Marks. The exercise wear with the breathables lining. It figures is produced in association with the Life Network in the splendid grandeur of the Rocky Mountains at the Banff Springs Hotel. like to buy an exercise video, a copy of this show, or one of our cookbooks, call 1-800-MORE-FIT. Viewers requiring an answer from it figures should enclose $3 and a self-addressed stamped envelope. Gaining weight with age has long been accepted as a normal part of aging, but a Brigham and Women's Hospital study suggests even modest weight gain in the middle years can significantly increase risk of coronary heart disease. The study followed 116,000 healthy women for 14 years and found those who gained 11 to 17 pounds after age 18 had 25% greater risk of heart attack than those gaining 10 pounds or less. Those gaining 18 to 24 pounds increased their risk 65%. The risk 
tripled for those who gained more than 40 pounds. Women who stayed at least 15% below United States government 1990 weight guidelines, those people had the lowest risk. The take home message here is, get after it now before those 10 pounds creep up into 20. Let's build muscle to increase your metabolism. Up off the couch, come on, it's doers we want, not viewers. We're gonna just warm up before we pump our little systemic blood flow so you perform better and you're not injured. We got four of these. Here's four and three, and then we have four little squats side to side. Here's the first one. She's down and over, two more. Now you're gonna lead off with your other leg. It's forward. Warm us up, Char. Yep, I'm a trying. Here's your first squat. You can just brace on those thighs and lead the other leg. It's forward and back. Gotta Walk. love those squats. <laughs> That's a wake up call. Yep. <laughs> That's right. And squat. Two more. Watch my third. Forward and back. You do four. I pivot. Look at uh -oh. that. Doing the last one with you. Squat. Are you okay for that, Terry? What is it, number three? Yeah, number three. Okay. I just don't want my pregnant mom to fall over here. Here it is. <laughs> pivot, pivot. Here are your squats. Have you had any dizziness? Just in the morning, getting out of bed. Oh. And when you turn. Yeah. <laughs> Get up too fast from a chair. Here it is. Pivot. Pivot. One more time. Squat. Wow, the mountains Squat. look lovely today. It's a wonderful day here in the Rocky Mountains. Here comes the pivots. Here's the last set of squats. Yes. Woo. Are you ready to work? Whew. All right. So feeling, <laughs> feeling strong. Okay, we're decided to start on lower body today, which means we gotta hang some weight on the end of those limbs, and we'll do inside and outside thighs abduction. That's when you lift away from the center line. I like to hang off the step. I'm just like trying this. to stall a little bit here. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because you know why? I can take my leg lower than I could on the floor. So I get a little little more range of motion. Are you ready? Uh, are you just done gonna fritter this whole half hour away? Done on this side. Here's rep number one. Oh, thanks, Aww. Jen. Rep Sorry, number guys. two. <laughs> so to recap, the 1990 United States weight guidelines actually support Do weight you gain at age 35. But the nurses health study assessed those guidelines for validity and really found that they that may falsely eight. reassure some women over 35 and that would be whose nine. weight is currently within those guidelines. And that's 10. All right. <laughs> <laughs> she says in desperation, inside leg, other leg. <laughs> And up. <laughs> Boy, is she crying. Okay, you want me to lift this leg, right? <laughs> yes, the inside thigh, the adductor muscles. How's that feel, Jen? So um, you know what that's I pretty predict, tough, you guys. I'm predicting that they uh, that they redo those weight gun lines. Mark my word, I almost bet Seven. you money on it. In the next decade, half decade, Eight. they're going to reassess those guidelines and they're going to trim it down. They're going to allow Ten. less weight. You're kidding, was it? Yes. Was she being not honest? That's not yeah. something I would kid about. While you're here, grab a tiny little weight. We've got a two and a half pound plate rotator cuff. Up and up and down and down. The Oops. rotator you cuff. Just keep going. Is I'll a, tell you. <laughs> Jennifer is a real procrastinator here. <laughs> I love weights, folks. I really I know do. you do. <laughs> They're good for you. This rotator cuff is a structure in your shoulder. And if you keep it strong, 
you'd be so much less prone to injury when you play uh, baseball with the kids, you know, when you're pitching or throwing something, when you're doing oh, overhand shots ten. in tennis. That was it? That was 10. Okay. We got all this on the other side, so wiggle around yeah. here. Speed it up there, Jen. Okay, okay. All right, now, okay. you're going to get us on the first rep here. We're not starting until you're ready. <laughs> Come on. Okay, folks. Here you go. Mm. Jennifer's ready, and it's up and up. Are you ready? Here, we'll count this number one. So, in anticipation of the revised weight guidelines, we suggest you do some more aerobic activity and not eat less food, but eat less fat, because fat is calorie, calorie, calorie dense. Eat more fruits, vegetables, and grains. Good nutrition, low calories. Nine. One more. One more. Ten. Up and up and down and down. Okay, inside thigh. I like to just get this top leg out of the way. I think I'll do Ready? that. Ready? We lift. Up and up. Those are adductors. Now, is this going to make the fat on your inside thigh disappear? No. no. I don't think so, folks. You're going to need to do some aerobic activity and reduce your intake of dietary fat. At the end of the day, you want to be in calorie deficit if you want to lose body fat. Up and up and down and down. Nine. Just a One more, Jen. Up and up. And down, and down. Boy, okay. you're good at your cueing there, Jen. You're keeping Rotate track. Rotate your cuff. Now, I like to see you get your pelvis right on the edge of the sofa here, or the step. Glue your elbow right to your hip, and lift, lift. Have a look at my wrist here, if you can. You want your wrist in neutral like this. Here's what you don't want. You don't want it this way. You don't want it that way. You want it right in neutral. That's it. Up and up and down and down. For a little muscle, I can sure feel it. Yeah. It, it's a it's a funny little structure. If that rotator cuff is not strong, we get impingement injuries. And I had one once, and let me tell you, talk about a pain. We did it. That one's done with a couple extra. Okay, what do we need to do? These guys? Oh, those lovely the little strategically placed. You can do them on the step, or you can do them on the floor. We want your back not arched, but in neutral. And the effort is to bring your hip into extension. So lift up and up and down and down. Now, if you don't like putting your head down, no problem. Now, if Look you've at Jennifer. The platform, you need to and make if sure you're your laying there. flat like Jennifer, just be sure you don't lift your pelvis up. I'm checking you, Dan. Keep that pelvis flat right on here. the floor. Well, and up. That's it. Couple more. Lift. Good strong glutes. How many? I think that must be ten. No, one more. And that could be and ten. Too. Other side. Give us a little wiggle rest. And here we go. Lift, lift, and down, and down. That's it. And just mind your back. Physically active people are only half as likely as sedentary people to have heart attacks. Now, what else can I tell you to make you get your your buns in gear. <laughs> Mine are in gear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two more. Up and up. Last time. Up and up. And done. Okay. Goodness, we've done a lot of these, but we haven't done quads and we haven't done uh, hamstrings. So let's do quads now. Jennifer and uh, Terry are gonna do leg extensions. I'm gonna work this quad by bringing myself up. Don't, I won't lock this knee. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay, and ready we go. Concentric, E-centric. And you won't lock your knee either, right? On extension. So our knees are together. Yep, 
and your thighs are parallel. And I'm doing the hardest work. Oh. <laughs> As it should be. <laughs> okay, can you finish this up in the break? Finish off these 10, do the other leg, be back for hamstrings. We definitely will be doing Anybody this. Anybody counting? Two more. The Quebec Family Study at Laval University has found that genetics do play a role in your body fat, but not a very strong influence. Only 25% of individual difference in body fat throughout the population is genetic. That means you can only blame your parents for a quarter of your fat. Genes strongly determine where fat is stored, but genes are not very influential in the amount of fat stored. Your physical activity, or lack of it, and your food choices determine your fatness. Have you heard about the new approach to abdominal training? In the past, we did exercises which challenged the abdominal muscles as prime movers. They make the movement. But the abs actually spend more of their time acting as trunk stabilizers. So now we're also doing work that challenges them to be better stabilizers. This may be the answer to that stubborn little pot belly that annoys even some fairly lean people. Okay, there's a lot of action going to go right here, as well as hamstring work. I don't think so. Come on, abdominal brace. Pull that in. Well, Stabilize that in trunk. As as get in. And get your thighs <laughs> vertical. You're going to lift up and lower down. Counting at number one. And down. Would anybody venture a guess as to how many North Americans are defined as sedentary? Uh, would we be looking at 50%? Half. Exactly mm -hmm. right. Half. Blows wow. me away. Hey guys, there is so much life to live out there and it's not all in front of the television. Come on, get out and enjoy. One more time. Up and up and down and down. Okay, regroup. <laughs> Get your abdominal brace. Okay. Other leg. Up and up and down. Count this one, number one. And you know, the exercise doesn't have to be vigorous. That's, that's the other good news, is that they have changed the exercise guidelines just to reduce your risk of, of um, disease, risk of death, if you just walk briskly, bicycle, garden, dance, climb stairs, and accumulate, just accumulate over the course of the day, 30 minutes of physical activity, you're in the ballpark. That's that active living. That's active living. And that's what Terry teaches. That's her job. That's her career, active living. Oh, I think that's 10. I think okay. that's more like 10 I plus. Okay, done, done. I believe in it. You know what? Those are big muscle groups that tend to be tight. I think we should just take oh. a moment and stretch them. They tend if to be a little If you can just do tight. this, brace your upper body as you lean over your favorite leg. If that doesn't put a stretch on your hamstrings, pull your toes up. Man, can I ever feel you that. You know, if you tend to do a lot of walking or running, that hamstring area it really needs a lot of stretching. You know, I think running really tightens running because really it's tight. so repetitive, yeah. real repetitive. At least with our step and uh, low impact aerobics, we have more variety. But I love running too, Jen. Yeah. But boy, my hands are In the outdoors. Short. You feel that stretch in the back of your. Are yeah. you getting tighter with pregnancy? Have you noticed that? No. Because you should be getting looser. Yeah, I feel like You're... spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't oh, overstretch. One of those cravings again, oh, Terry? Yeah, yeah, right. Don't overstretch. Here's your big quadricep group, the ones that they worked on leg extensions and I was in that inverted V. Oh man, get in tight. Yeah, that would be hitting that quadricep already. I right. must say, Missy, your legs are looking very nice these days. Well, thank you. And thank you for mentioning that. That's all it's all that, that running. running. No problem. <laughs> all that running and all that weight training. I've yeah, been harping her training. for years. I've been on her for years. We finally got our weight training. Can I take credit then for those pretty okay. legs? <laughs> Partial. Can I take credit? credit? <laughs> <laughs> Shall we just do glutes as well, real quick? Sure. Okay. On glutes, you need to avoid this. 
rather sit up straight and see how far across you can bring your knee, how far across Ooh. your body. This was one of my favorite stretches during pregnancy. How about you, Tara? Well, <laughs> I can sure feel it. Does that make it my favorite? <laughs> Other side. Okay, have we got baby's name yet? Well, we're down to at least eight of each. You want to tell us? You want a little help here? Well, we really like Sarah for a girl. Oh, I like Sarah. That's a good biblical name. Yeah. Try uh, biceps. Ready, we lift. Up. And okay, Sarah. And? Um, we like Dylan for a boy. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Um, Alex, I think. Uh-huh. Uh, Chase. For a girl or a boy? Chase for hey, a hey, girl. Boy. A boy. Hey, yeah. Hey. Chase. <laughs> Jennifer, that's what you should have named yours was well, Chase. That's what he's called. <laughs> Chase. We each and write a Jace. list and then Chase. Yes, Cross no, down. I mean Chase is in those kids are always running. <laughs> are we done? Oh, One no, more than two more. We can do more. Okay. Get the other side going. You gotta finish this bicep in the break. We're coming back for triceps now. And Cholesterol and saturated fat are not the same thing. Cholesterol is found only in animals. Plants can't make cholesterol because they don't have a liver. Eating high cholesterol foods is not a problem for most people. Your liver will just cut back on its production of cholesterol to compensate. But eating saturated fat is a problem. It stimulates your body to overproduce cholesterol. So a no cholesterol label on a food made with saturated palm oil is very misleading. You don't have to work up a sweat to get fit, but you do need to work up your heart rate. Aerobic exercise is any sustained physical activity that produces heavy breathing and high heart rate. And now I know what you're thinking, and the answer is yes. If you can keep it going for 15 to 20 minutes, it's got to qualify as aerobic. Regular aerobic exercise conditions your heart and keeps your body fat under control. It moderates your reaction to stress and increases your stamina. Such a deal. Triceps. Now, we're using overhead position because we got quite heavy weights here today. You could use single arms. It's your back that I'm concerned about in this sitting position. You need to abdominal brace. Look at your trunk. Come down, come down, come down. There. Because this is what sometimes happens when you get tired. You lose it. And that's hard on your back. So you want an abdominal brace. <laughs> and now, nine. And did you start one, counting when they started? Ten. <laughs> one to grow on, one to grow on. Ten. <laughs> okay. Know, be ten. Those guys deserve a stretch. Here or here, whatever feels best to you. But put a little gentle pressure against that upper arm. Helps stretch that tricep. Mm. That's one of our favorites. That muscle is capable, capable of getting quite tight. Now, we're going to move to the upper back. These rhomboids back here, they are the muscles that give you good posture if they're good and strong. So flip over with us on the floor here. And with or without weights, even this is good work without weights, you're going to lift your shoulder blades to your spine. So we lift up and up and down. Now, in the beginning, a lot of people also try and shrug their shoulders to their ears. And that's not the effort. It is more this and down. Yeah, if you really down. think about closing those wings back there. Yeah, it's hard to isolate this. Yeah, it is. It's, I think it's analogous to trying to learn the Spock salute. Remember when you were a kid and you tried to separate your fingers? That would be nine. Really? And that would be ten. One and don't more, tell me we're switching sides. I'm sorry, one more trick. just for those folks who didn't catch us on the first time. All right, let's turn over and do abs. Now, you know the guidelines for exercise in pregnancy suggest that you do not exercise on your back past uh, about, what, six weeks, is it, Terry? I thought it was first trimester. First trimester. So we're going to put Terry on her knees.
to do what we are doing, and that is abdominal brace. So you brace, brace, and relax. Brace, brace. You're pulling your transverse muscle into a contraction so that it actually pulls your navel down to your spine. Okay, now we're gonna put some music to that. <laughs> and Terry's just gonna keep bracing. Jennifer and I are gonna make this harder by lifting up here to vertical. And the exercise is down, straighten, back, up. Here you go. All this in a brace. Now you can relax. You brace, 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 relax. Brace, 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 relax. Can you work on that? See you back. Relax, brace, brace. One pound of body fat burns only two measly calories a day to sustain itself, but a pound of muscle burns 30 to 50 calories a day to stay alive. The more muscle you have, the higher your metabolism and the more calories you burn even as you sleep. Unfortunately, metabolism slows with age due to loss of muscle to the tune of about a half a pound of muscle a year after age 30. If you weight train though, you can preserve muscle and keep your metabolism high to stay lean. I bet hardly a week goes by without hearing someone say that exercise got them through a nasty divorce or the stress of job loss or the depressing loss of a loved one. I hear it all the time. And it's not pie in the sky, it's real. Exercise reduces tension by desensitizing your body to stress. Regular workouts train the body to react less intensely to stress, leaving you better able to cope with anxiety provoking events. It's much better than balance. Sit up here, we're going to do eccentric curls, and Terry can do those. So you now need to abdominal brace. Show us your best brace right there. And you're going to hold that brace while you lower yourself down real slowly, just vertebra by vertebra, and then when you get down there, help yourself up with your hands. The work is on the way down rather than the way up. We take four counts down and four counts up, and... Here we go, and back, two, three, four. Use your hands, two, three, four. This eccentric phase of the contraction is real effective at building strength. When you got strength in there, you can hold your belly flat when you're sitting and standing. Well, as flat as it'll go. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can't hold yours flat. One of these days, my friend. <laughs> And it, does that feel all right with you? Yes. Okay. It's but, very unusual for Terry. She usually has such yeah, a Yeah, she's a very lean woman. We, abdominal. You know, we bring these people to you in the middle of their pregnancy. <laughs> and uh, actually, Terry, you, 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 we had you on the show once. Just a flicker, remember? Harley. Harley. <laughs> that was the greatest card. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you guys remember that some viewers sent us the most funny card? Actually, I've heard from her since. Back, two, three, four. Can you go one more? Oh, I think so. Once, once. Abdominal brace, 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 brace. And coming up. Now, here's the bad news, guys. We saved this for the end so that you wouldn't get real frustrated and I, turn us off. It's push-ups, It's push-ups. It's push-ups. Right? Push well, that time, How about if I just keep doing abs? And abdominal brace. This is not it. Abdominal brace. And ready, set, go. <laughs> down, down. Okay, up. I'm done. Up. Yeah, I'm not real good at this either, but I try. You can do these okay, from your knees. Okay, this idea was this. Ooh. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, merciful heaven is this hard. I gotta drop. I gotta drop. Good work, guys. Go get them. Muscle matters. How many? Oh. Exercise wear by Gilda Marks. The exercise wear with the breathables lining. It figures is produced in association with the Life Network in the splendid grandeur of the Rocky Mountains at the Banff Springs Hotel.
If you would like to buy an exercise video, a copy of this show, or one of our cookbooks, call 1-800-MORE-FIT. Viewers requiring an answer from it figures should enclose $3 and a self-addressed stamped envelope. The American Orthopedic Foot and Ankle Society says almost 9 out of 10 women wear shoes that are too narrow or too small, making them prone to bunions and hammer toes. This problem is much more common in women than men, but in barefoot populations, women don't have this problem. Here's what's wrong. The ball of a woman's foot is wider and the heel more narrow than standard shoes. The average female foot is 3.66 inches wide at its broadest point, with widths ranging from 3 to 4.5 inches. But women's shoes are typically only 3 inches wide. Women's shoes are just scaled down men's shoes. A study of 255 women aged 20 to 60 found that in order to get a snugger heel, 73% of women chose shoes too tight in the forefoot. I used to do that all the time. And guess what? I had bunions. I don't do it now. Step right up here and I will give you some shoe advice. March with us. Okay, what is the absolute worst advice a shoe salesman could ever give a customer? Oh, they'll stretch. <laughs> I've heard oh, that before. Stretch. Yeah, yeah, they'll stretch, stretch a bit. Yeah, they stretch a bit. <laughs> Deadly advice. <laughs> Don't ever buy those shoes. We got three marches and then one squat. And then we start the march on the other leg. Here it is. We got three, two, one, squat, other leg. Three, two, one, squat. Now we travel these marches. Here's your squat. Three, two, one, adding on the other end. After the squat, step touch. Four, three, two. Here come those traveling marches. Three, two, one right here, you squat, step, touch, four, three, looks fine to me, here's three, two, one, watch out, step touches are going to hit the step, you march, three, two, one, everybody up and down, again, now march, three, two, one, squat, up and down, step, touch, and march. Three, two, one, squat. Up, touch, and down, touch, and up, touch, and down, touch, that's it. And squat. Hop. One more time. Here we are. Here's that squat. Hold it here. Hold it here. Watch a tiny little change. Boom. Give me two more and hold this very last one. Nothing strenuous here, just a wake up call. Just to let them know, hello, we want you to come on shift in about three minutes. Gastrocnemia, the big, more superficial of your calf muscles, the powerhouse muscle. Press your foot down and align your foot Straight ahead, so that it's not uh, it's not turned in the back. Straight ahead. Hip flexors. These muscles at the top of your legs. You need a pelvic tilt. Those are the guys that lift your knee, that lift your leg up to your trunk. So we use them a lot. We stress them in a major way. Let's switch legs. Hello, hamstrings. You know, hamstrings are two joint muscle crossing both the knee and the hip. That makes them prone to tightness. So how long should your shoes be? This is a lesson I learned the hard way because I did never, never did I have feet that were easy to fit, heels down, gastroc is on stretch. 
Your shoes should be a thumbnail width longer than your longest toe. No, really? A thumbnail? That's a half an inch. It a whole is. thumbnail? Yeah. That's right. You know, that's hard when you're buying running a shoes like for runners. Hip flexors. They have a... Uh, People that run a lot have a major problem with it. Their toes cramp into the edge of their shoes. Yeah, you got to be well, able to wiggle the your toe toes. Dogs has to be high enough as well. Yeah. You got to right, be able yeah. to wiggle. Listen, and nothing is more important than uh, than athletic Absolutely. shoes. Absolutely. Because minute for minute, you're putting a lot more miles on there. Turn this into basic. That just means put it up and down. And when you buy athletic shoes, go to a Store where they will let you jump around in the store. You run, jump, whatever the shoe is for, simulate that movement in the store. We need to make this a single leg basic. One more basic. Tap and change right here. Tap and change. That's it. Now watch what happens. It kind of spreads out. Hands turn into little windshield wipers and then you start to come off the step with a turn we call that turn, turn step. Step. <laughs> surprising you know <laughs> take three of them two more take one and right here squat down up now you can have both feet on the floor if you prefer we kind of like to have one foot on the step and one on the floor but look Look, it works just fine. You have plenty of time to step off and squat right there, if you prefer that. I was That's going it. to mention to you about the uh, shoes. Sometimes stores, I know that where I live, there are a few running uh, running shoe stores. Good running stores Good in Calgary. Good stores. Whoops, I'll just wait here. Because I'll like <laughs> here. Back to you. Guys. I'm talking, I'm this talking, a I'm talking. To talk and work, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> That's left and right hemisphere, isn't it? Yeah. As I was saying, they'll let you buy the shoes, oh, take them, yes. work yes, out with them as will. long as you're that's indoors. True. Yeah. Yes. And bring them back if they don't work. And that's the sh that's the store you want to aim for, truly. Okay, I'm with you now. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to change it. Just turn 3 times and give me an up touch down touch instead of that squat. Here it is. Real simple. Oh, thank you. Up touch down touch. <laughs> That's to give Jennifer a little brain relief. <laughs> okay, one more like that. That's three turn steps. One up touch, down touch. Now one turn step, up touch, down touch. One turn step. One time and one up. Jen, just put a little pressure on you now. Okay, well, I've Make had my sure brain break, so I guess I can step right into this. You're wide awake. <laughs> yes. Do something. I think what, we'll, what do I'll do something. here is I'll, uh, I'll do one of those do-what-you-knows. Oh, okay. So you're All right. Stay well, with sure. this move. Okay. okay. And I'm going to show you a little tricky repeater. Wait, so I want to see a two repeater. What is it to see that? Okay, so okay. I'm not coming down off the platform. I'll get, get it next again. time. I'll get it. Stay up there. Tap up, up, up. Now go. Oh, like you don't really put the weight down. No. Up. So you're starting okay. from the top of your platform. Up, this one. up. Knee repeater, knee repeater. Get oh, off. I like <sighs> it. Three, four, five, six. Get off. Now it may take a couple of rounds to get that one, but it's a lot of fun once you're well, in. We'll hold here. It's clever. Very clever, my friend. Higher but energy, too. It was that brain break you gave me a seat. Yeah. It's amazing what can happen during Well, those. you've redeemed yourself. <laughs> Whoop. Have you got it yet? Turn, repeater of two, and get off. Turn, down, down, get off. Turn, down, down, get off. Here comes the last one. Get it now or forget it. Just give me basic, right there. Good work. Well done. Uh -huh, I think like it, it. it was kind of fun. I truly, truly want a little, little piece of spice in my day. Uh, two basics and then two slow knees. Here we go, that away. There's one basic. Another, up knee, down touch. Up knee, walk, walk, into basics. Those basics take you to the other end. Here's the knee. Up knee, down touch, up knee, walk, walk. That's it. So, those shoes, athletic or street, 
need to fit in the heel. They need to fit snugly. And athletic shoes should typically be about a half size larger than your dress shoes. And most of us adhere to that tenaciously because most and of us have orthotics. Yeah. <laughs> we have to. Yeah. If you do a lot of activity and your biomechanics are not perfect, and few of us are, orthotics go a long way to helping you prevent injury. I'm gonna make a little change here. I'm gonna take them off the end next time. Here you go. Your turn right off the end. Up knee off the end. Up knee walk walk. That's it. Okay. Other end. I'm gonna play, play Bruce Lee. Here we go. Do I look like it? Ooh. Look at her go. Ooh. I like the arm. Instead of that tap, up knee and karate kick knee walk walk. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, make Here it go. good. Here we go. Up knee. Ho knee. Good. Pretend there's a punching bag there or something. And ho, you, ho. I like the sounds, you know. I've yeah. got the attitude, I just don't have yeah. the skills Ooh. yet. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna change this. Ho, ho. Now, forget all that. Give me two <laughs> slow <laughs> curls. We're just getting two it. slow curls right here. Boring. Oh, that was so much Boring. fun. Boring. No. Two slow curls. I'm gonna change the first curl. You do those two slow curls. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and curl with you. Two basics. Hey. Four little taps. Four, three, two, one, everybody curl. Can you work on that in the break? All right, get it perfect, see you back. Four, three, two, one, curl. The nurse's health study found that in the first two years after quitting smoking, women gain an average of 5.3 pounds more than those women who continue to smoke. Of course, the overall benefits of quitting cigarettes far outweigh any risk and weight gain, but if fear of additional poundage enslaves you to tobacco, take heart in a Canadian study which shows that most women lose all or most of those extra pounds. Quit smoking and start exercising. A Brigham and Women's Hospital study shows even modest weight gain in the middle years can significantly increase the risk of coronary heart disease in women. Results found those who gained 11 to 17 pounds after age 18 had 25% greater risk of heart attack than those gaining 10 pounds or less. Those gaining 18 to 24 pounds increased their risk 65% and the risk tripled for those who gained more than 40 pounds. A University of Southern California study found that highly active women who averaged 3.8 hours of exercise weekly since puberty were 60% less likely than inactive women to get breast cancer. Those who logged one to three hours of physical activity per week since puberty were 30% less likely to develop breast cancer compared to sedentary women. Though this is just one study, it suggests that regular exercise may have a tremendous payoff. Tufts University mounted a study of postmenopausal women aged 50 to 70. Researchers found that the women who weight trained 45 minutes twice a week for a year improved bone density in their legs and spine by 1%. Women not weight training lost 2.5% bone density. The weight trainers reduced body fat and increased muscle mass by 3 to 4 pounds. Remember, the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn even as you sleep. Come on home. Come on back to basic. And when it feels comfortable to you, just turn it into straddle. We'll wait for you. We're here. Okay, we're here. Okay. We're going to cross right over the width of the step, side to side. Here's four, three, 
two, one, crossover. Come to me, that's it, go away. You got it. Okay, I'm gonna call that crossover as opposed to the lunge step that I'll show you right now. You do what you know, you cross over. I go up and do two alternating lunges. I do it again, and now we're together. Up you go, stay and lunge one leg, get off. Now we're gonna do this a little more. Make sure you've got it, up in two lunges. Got it? Here's your last chance. Now just cross over, come to me, come to me. Now go up and do two lunges. That's it, get off. Go up and two, do two lunges again. Just cross over twice. Plain old crossover. Up and two lunges. That's it. And get off. Up and two lunges again. Is this making sense? <laughs> Absolutely. We got it. Still with you. Up and two lunges. Get off. Up and two more lunges. Crossover. Good work. Now, if your feet have a high arch, you ought to lace your shoes straight across the tongue, right over. Don't use the crisscross pattern. Up in two lunges. And get off, up in two lunges again. Last time, right over. I have a right question over. for you with lacing there, Charlene. Up in two lunges. Get off, up in two lunges. I've ha heard many times of people, go ahead. Hold the crossover, just of hold Of people here. that um, have numbness in their feet. Now uh, quite yes. often it's when they have new shoes, but I think it has to do with lacing. It right? absolutely does, they're too tight. If you, if you put too much pressure on the top of your foot, your whole foot can go numb. Don't go to the doctor, just loosen your <laughs> shoes. <laughs> okay, hold these crossovers. I need to cue you down to alternate knees behind the steps. Here's four, three, two, one, and give me a knee, other end. That's it. Now, if you've got narrow feet, you should use only the wide set eyelets because that brings up the side of the shoes. And you know, most of the good athletic shoes now have several sets of eyelets for you to choose. Let's make this a repeater of three knees. Here's three, up, two, up, one up, the other in. That's it. Okay, what can we do with this? How about we do that little shuffle repeater? I'll show you. You do your three, shuffle across. Two knees, step touch, and shuffle. Dump, bump, bump. Two knees. Step, touch, bump, bump, Can we do whatever bump. we want in that little shuffle? Oh, dear. Oh, show us, Oh, Jennifer. dear. Oh, it's just, I'm just playing. <laughs> okay, well, show us. You can play. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's nothing, really. Boom, it could boom, be. Boom. I don't can know what do you guys it? are doing out there in TV land, but whatever Shovel you want. No. <laughs> okay. Shovel snow. <laughs> <laughs> Shovel snow. We don't have snow yet. Last time, bum, bum, bum. Give me just regular knees. Three, two, one. Have a look. Something for you to work on in the break. Watch this. One, ball change. Again, knee, step, ball change, knee. Got it? Oh, yeah. Knee, step, ball change, knee. Take it away. Play with it. See you back. More fatal heart attacks occur between 6 a.m. and noon, not because of morning exercise, but because of morning. The blood platelets responsible for clotting are stickiest in the morning. Regular exercise at any time of day reduces the risk of heart attack. Thousands of North Americans die each year from inactivity, so don't be afraid to work out in the morning if that's the best time for you. The trick is to be regular with exercise. Time of day doesn't really matter. 
Your body loses two to three quarts of fluid daily just through perspiration, exhalation, and excretion. Now that fluid must be replaced or your major systems begin to break down. The rule of thumb is drink eight eight ounce glasses of water daily and that's just your minimum because as temperature and exercise increase you need still more. If you're not drinking enough water your urine will be quite yellow. Clear urine signals good hydration. Canada, we're still eating too much fat. A gram of fat is nine calories compared with only four calories per gram for carbohydrate or protein. Though monounsaturated fats are more heart healthy than other fats, all fat is equally fattening, so the goal is to cut down on all fats. Excess dietary fat contributes to excess body fat, and that brings health problems in and of itself. Try to get your fat intake down to 20 to 30 percent of your total daily calories. If you're stuck on a fat loss plateau and are already doing some sort of vigorous exercise, try adding a walk after supper. Moderate exercise, like walking, doesn't compete with digestion right after a meal. It feels fine and it aids digestion and it reduces fat storage on your body. Fats entering the bloodstream from digestion can be used as fuel so they don't get deposited in your fat cells. Moving on, can you get yourself to single leg basic? Up, up, down, tap, up, up, down, tap. And then start to move it across. It becomes what we often call an A step. Now, dependent on your energy, step height, and leg length, <laughs> you can slide this right across. Yahoo! Yep. Okay. Let's take four of these fly across. Here's four. Then we'll add on two more. Stay at the other end. Four side leg lifts right here. Here's four and three. That's it, one more. Here you go, and it's four. You know, the shoe manufacturers say, shop at the end of the day for shoes. Oh, I know that rule. <laughs> because I run into trouble when you rush shop in the morning and then all of a sudden they never fit again. Yeah. Oh. Your feet get larger as the day goes on. They swell. Now let's cut this in half. Two side leg lifts right there and fly across only twice. Good. Now only one side leg lift. Fly across once, side leg lift over here. That's it. So that your feet grow over the years, the heel stays the same, but that poor old forefoot gets larger. It will get larger and longer and wider if you exercise more, if you gain or lose weight. If you wear high heels a lot, Renee. Oh no, I need high heels. <laughs> only, because, because, <laughs> only because. Only because you think they're beautiful. No, only because I have no arch and they feel better on me. But truly, you're kidding. No, how's your back? Put so much heels. pressure on your forefoot. I call mine sitting shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can't. I can't walk a block in them. No, I'm actually more comfortable in them, but it's true. How about last two? Last one. Side leg lift and march. And find a heart rate. Ready, set, count. Keep your legs moving. It's so important that you don't stop and sit down. Not now. And stop. Okay, have a look at this heart rate chart recommended by the International Dance Exercise Association and see if you're in the ballpark. Somewhere between 60 and 85% intensity. Go, you're, you're there. You came to class, you passed the course. Any effort is better than none, even if you're not at 60% intensity. Give me knee repeaters right here. Three, two, one, the other side. Have a look at this pause repeater. I do knee, pause, 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 knee. Try it. Knee, pause, 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 knee. Knee, pause, 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 knee. One more. 
pause, pause, single kicks. Just little kicks. Here's the pause repeater. Knee, one, two, three, single kicks. Next time the single kicks are on the floor. Repeater, three, two, one, on the floor. And kick. Here's the knee repeater. See ya, back. Keep it going. And kick. Most heart attacks are due to a buildup of fatty deposits or plaque inside coronary arteries. And it's at these plaque deposits where blood clots are likely to stick and completely cut off the blood supply. The best way to avoid that scenario is eat low fat food and exercise. For every 1% you lower your total blood cholesterol through better food choices, exercise or cholesterol lowering drugs, your risk of heart attack declines 2 to 3%. Adult humans can have up to 600 billion fat cells, and they're very elastic. If you burn up all the calories you eat in a day, your fat cells swell and shrink as fat is stored and then released for burning. If you eat more than you use, your cells enlarge to accommodate the excess. If your body fat content rises to about 30 kilograms, your body will manufacture new fat cells to absorb the extra. The trick to weight loss is burning up more calories than you eat. Stretching these guys, what worked so hard, God bless them. Quadriceps, wherever you are, there or on the floor, to get this stretch, you got a pelvic tilt. You, most of us are irregular. One foot is larger than the other. Which do you think you should buy shoes to fit? The, the left. Large. My the left larger foot. one. <laughs> the left. Right. The larger. That's absolutely right. And here's how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to stand barefoot, full weight bearing on a piece of paper, and have somebody else draw the outline of your foot. My mother used to do this, and then she'd send it off to Sears Roebuck and say, want the red one. <laughs> Make it fit this foot. <laughs> Well, that was the right way. Um, then you measure the longest and widest part of the foot. This is a no-brainer. And when you buy the shoe, the sole of the shoe has to fit the drawing. My problem, like Renee's, has always been that we have such a narrow heel. And, uh, and if you don't have that fitting, then you're slipping out of that shoe all the time. I know, I know. That's exa I, I, I had everything all my life that you could put in the back of a shoe to keep your heel. Yeah, yeah, I know that routine. I've been there. Good on you guys. So glad you were here. Catch you next time. Exercise wear by Gilda Marks. The exercise wear with the breathables lining. It Figures is produced in association with the Life Network in the splendid grandeur of the Rocky Mountains at the Bamp Springs Hotel. If you would like to buy an exercise video, a copy of this show, or one of our cookbooks, call 1-800-MORE-FIT. Viewers requiring an answer from It Figures should enclose $3 and a self-addressed stamped envelope.